previous tutorial, we learned how food is broken down in the duodenum. This tutorial takes us further into the journey where this food passes to the next part of the small intestine called the jejunum and onwards to the third part, the ileum. If you like what you see on our channel, please like, subscribe and turn on notifications. We know that the duodenum helps in the digestion of the food which comes from the stomach. The jejunum and the ileum which forms parts of the small intestine not only helps in the further digestion of the nutrients but also play a very important role in the absorption of these nutrients into the bloodstream. If we zoom into the structure of the small intestine, we can see it is highly folded and consists of millions of small finger-like projections called villi. Each villus is covered with cells which have even smaller projections on them called microvilli. The walls of the small intestine have glands which secrete intestinal juice that contains different enzymes. Let us see how these enzymes help in the further breakdown of the different nutrients which have come from the duodenum part of the small intestine. Maltose is broken down by the carbohydrates enzyme maltase into glucose. The polypeptides are broken down by peptidase into amino acids and the remaining fats are digested by lipase into fatty acids and glycerol. Sucrose is broken down by the enzyme sucrase into glucose and fructose and lactose is broken down by lactase into glucose and galactose. Now, how do these nutrients produced in the digestive system reach all the cells of our body? Well, that begins with the next step called absorption. So, what is absorption? Absorption is the movement of small food molecules and ions through the walls of the small intestine into the blood. The small intestine plays a major role in absorption. The structure of the villi is specially adapted for food absorption. Let us understand the adaptations of villi. Each villus has cells which have smaller projections called microvilli on them. This gives the inner surface of the small intestine a very large surface area. The larger the surface area, the faster nutrients are absorbed. Villi have walls only one cell thick so that the digested nutrients can easily diffuse through the walls to reach the blood. Each villus has a lymph vessel called lacteal in the center. The lacteal is surrounded by a network of blood capillaries. Water soluble molecules such as glucose, amino acids, minerals as well as vitamins such as vitamin C are absorbed through the walls of the villi into the blood capillaries by diffusion and active transport. After entering the bloodstream, these are taken to the liver by the hepatic portal veins and then to every cell of the body. On the other hand, fatty acids and glycerol, lipid soluble vitamins like vitamin A and D are absorbed into the lacteals. The lipids and the lipid soluble vitamins in the lacteals are transported to the lymphatic system which forms a network all over the body to ultimately empty its contents into the bloodstream. Further, these nutrients are transported to various tissues where they are utilized. This process is called assimilation. From the small intestine, undigested food travels to the large intestine. Stay tuned as we journey with the undigested food in the large intestine in our next tutorial.